In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down my favorite pass defense in Madden NFL 21. This zone coverage is really going to help you get more stops on defense. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and if you've never been to my channel before, my channel is designed to help you get better at Madden. I post four videos a day here on YouTube, and I stream every night at 10 o'clock Eastern Time with tips, strategies, answering questions, and all that fun stuff. So um, if you really want to get better at the game, one of the best steps that you can take is to join my YouTube Discord. Uh, Discord is the best possible place for you to stay up to date with all of my latest tips and tactics but it's also a great place to meet new players meet better players um, i've learned so much from the discord the discord has helped me grow and i'm sure that it will help you grow as well so if you want to join our discord you can do that by clicking the link in the description of today's video all right guys so um, a little under the weather here but i wanted to get this out this is my favorite pass defense right now in Madden 21, it's um, a zone coverage scheme that really locks down a lot of what people like to do. It does depend on having a good um, user over the middle of the field. But all in all, this does really good against some of the people's favorite plays. Now, a lot of people really like this double post play from Gun Bunch Offset. Um, and I'm actually going to be breaking this down in my next video on my channel, showing you guys how to run it against man, against zone. Um, so if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe because that video should be coming out around 11 o'clock Eastern Time. Uh, but anyways, we're going to talk about this from a defensive perspective. So what I like to do is I like to go to my coaching adjustments and I want to turn auto flip off. I want to put base line on, valid air defense, play ball, option defense, it's conservative, tackling's not aggressive, but this is the key right here. For flats, you want to drop your flats at 15 to 20 yards. I like 15, but some people like 20. 20 is a little bit more safer. 15 will play, play the underneath a little bit better. For curl flats, I like to drop these at five yards. Okay, very specific, five yards. And then for hook zones, I like to drop them at 10 to 15 yards. Again, depending on the defense, you can go either 10 or 15. All right, so uh, nickel three through five. And what you want to do here is you want to put your best pass rushers in at the outside edges. Uh, and then what's really good about the Packers is they have Kitty Clark, who has the inside stuff ability. And I'm actually thinking about doing a video on this ability for as it pertains to inside runs, but I'm still working on that. But it's really, really a, a phenomenal ability for the way people are playing the game this year with inside zone. Then I like to put uh, my fastest corners on the at the uh, safety position for this specific defense. So we're going to put um, Jair Alexander and... Um, could Kadar hold it there and then on the outside what I like to do is I like just to place uh, standard quarters here so I'm going to put uh, Savage or not Savage uh, Jackson and King on the outside and then uh, I'm going to put for these uh, two here I'm going to put Darnell Savage um, you want to put your best coverage safety um, in the uh, in the um in this uh, right side linebacker, so right here, Adrian, uh, on the left side of the screen, I'm sorry, left side of the screen linebacker, sorry, look under the weather today, guys, um, and then Darnell Savage is going to be uh, on the left side here, and then your user is going to be the middle linebacker, so I like to put, uh, for the for the uh, Packers, I like, to, I like to put Raven Green in here, and then this corner out here is going to be Will Redmond, okay? Now, this is a based out of a Tampa 2 shell. It doesn't have to be, but or th this coverage is based out of Tampa 2. And all you're going to do is you are going to, basically, all you're going to do is you're going to press coverage. So you see here, we're, we're already based aligned. We're going to press coverage. And then what we're going to do is we are going to drop Redmond into a vertical hook. We're going to drop Adrian Amos into a purple zone. We're going to drop savage into a purple zone and then we're going to use in the middle field now if they're if they're running something like bunch you might not need uh purple on both sides of the field but you i don't know this is kind of the base the basic coverage of this and one of the things that i like to do is i like to pinch my line and i like to crash them to try to get some a gap pressure here with the contains and what you'll see at the snap of the ball here is this coverage is absolutely amazing on the outside as you see here literally there's nowhere for them to throw outside i want to show you a couple of routes that this is going to help take away um there's there's three big routes that i feel like this really boxes and really does a good job of and then you're it's up to you to take care of the rest of the stuff uh, but we'll show you this and just uh we'll show you this right now so literally if they run a drag route 
to their tight end, what you're going to see here is it's going to take it away. It's going to take it away for, um, it's going to take it away on both sides of the field. They can't run a drag right or left. In fact, this little route to the back. Um, whoops, I'm sorry, I, I didn't uh, didn't set my coverage up. This little route to the back is box as well. So literally, all I'm going to do is I'm going to press coverage, and then what I like to do is throw a deep middle third. So I like to turn this into a cover three of some type, and then I will typically throw a purple zone on both sides of the field and then occasionally if they're not running a lot of drags if they're running a lot of crossing type routes i'll throw a vertical hook there but normally i like to throw two purples and then i'll just lurk the middle uh, what you'll see is this uh for example this crossing route to tyler lockett you're going to see this is going to get absolutely bagged uh, and there that's why that's why you want your best pass rusher there because again you're going to be able to get some pressure get some shed pressure typically uh with this and then also um i was going to say with the specific coverage here so uh tyler lockett like i said if they're running really some, just a simple concept like this maybe they're max protecting it to try to get this cross here up to tyler lockett now this is taking out your user which what you're going to see here is that tampa two shell tampa two shell still is in my opinion the best deep coverage the best deep zones um, you could do this out of cover four as well, but I personally like the deep half zones uh, a little bit better. I just think they play the outsides. They play the crossing routes a little bit better in my opinion, but literally if you run, let me see if I have the play in here. Uh, like if I run verticals and I try to hit this crossing route to Tyler Lockett, you're going to see literally I can't get him the ball. Like there's no, there's no window to throw it. And what we'll do here is we'll, um, we'll respot the ball quick and we're gonna pick it we're gonna grab a new a new passing concept but that's not a bunch and then we're gonna show you some other things that you can do so like if they're if you're facing uh, like trips tray y flex uh, pa cross which is a really uh, popular concept this co concept this year now it's a popular concept it doesn't mean it has to be exactly from that play but it is a very popular concept so if I just respot the ball here what you're gonna see and if we just back it off now again you want to run your trips to the wide side as a general rule but literally what you're going to see with this is you're going to be able to take away streaks on both sides of the field you're also going to be able to take away crossing routes now remember your job as the user your job as the user is to play the play this um play this middle zone i'm just gonna i'm gonna click off of him and, and just throw myself in a spy here just so you can see how the coverage works but literally what you're gonna see is these crossing routes on both sides those cloud flats should get back there and if they don't as you can see there jair alexander ends up making a play but if they don't get back there what you do want to go ahead and do in your coaching adjustments is you want to uh you want to play them at 20 yards now I do want to talk about doing this out of loop crash too because you get a different type of uh, different type of flat zone that actually is very very uh, important. So the different type of flat zone that you get out of uh, loop crash two is you get a soft squat zone, and in my opinion, soft squat zones are probably one of the most underrated zones in the entire game because of what they do um, to the deep vertical streaks. So if you're in a soft squat zone. What you're going to see here uh literally i'll do something like this and, and and i'll typically you know i'll purple uh to the to the wide side and i'll vert hook to the short side sometimes it just depends right uh, on what they're attacking me with if they're attacking me with a lot of crossing routes then you want to go two purples if they're attacking with you with a lot of post routes over the middle of the field then you want to go with two uh flat zones but what you'll see now is this cross route is not going to stand a chance you see here it's not going to get up it's not going to get uh deep enough space there i can click on and make an interception on that play let me show you the um let me show you the route from trip side end real quick and then we're going to move on to a couple of other route combinations that people are going to run again guys coverage schemes this year they're not sexy they're not fancy by any means you know it's not a, it's not really a blitzing year um i do blitz a lot from this 335 wide or 335 uh normal formation and you can pick that up i just updated my defensive ebook so if you want to pick up that uh that pressure it is in the guide right now you, know, you can pick that up that link is in the description of this video but what you'll see is and it, it has a full scheme it's a full game plan it's my full offensive defensive game plans too it's not just a pressure setup 
But what you'll see is this crossing route, you see the flat's gonna drop deep enough and you're gonna pick off flat zones. What I love about zone this year, and a lot of people have kind of gone away from zone. What I love about zone this year is that when you call the right zone, you're gonna get interceptions. Again, this, this defense does require, it does require you to have somewhat of a decent lurk over the middle of the field. But if they go to something like mesh post, for example, what you're going to do is you're going to start on the drag. All you have to do is cover this middle of the field until it passes it off to the, to the curl flat zone. So literally all you're going to do is, oh, I'm going to take this and then I'm going to come back here and you're going to see like pretty much everything is bagged. Um, we're going to show you this in this replay here in just a second. But the, the pressure will typically come in faster than this, especially if you have good pass rushers and you're running some of our base rushes out of the nickel 55 scheme. But what I want to show you really quickly is... Like, this is mesh post. This is one of the most popular plays uh, in the entire game this year. And what you're going to see is, and this is five out on the route. Um, but what you'll see here, if I turn this around and go all 22 film on you, snap of the ball, and you're going to see these underneath, underneath zones are going to play the underneath stuff. You see here, you could basically um, lurk the mesh in general and then he can come back onto this post right in here at this point he can't throw the post anymore and then you can jump back on the back if you have good lurk in the middle of the field you can run this now again you don't have to just run this defense i'll be posting some more zone coverage schemes as well uh, in the videos to come but this is a great starter um, starting zone coverage that you can use and again, it's all about your zone drops this year. I think zone drops are the most important feature to understand on the defensive side of the ball. And I have been getting so many more stops by leveraging this feature because of the disguise of the defense. They, you can mix in cross made with this. You can mix in so much with this. So uh, the coverage schemes are endless this year with the way the zone drops work. So I just wanted to shoot this out to you. This is my favorite pass defense to start out. I will probably start out most of my games going forward with this pass coverage. So, um, this is just a phenomenal pass coverage. I think this is really going to help you guys. And again, if this helps you, or if you just want to stay more up to date with my Madden channel, my content that come out, again, I post four times a day on YouTube. I stream every single night at 10 o'clock Eastern time right here on my YouTube channel. So if you want to really stay up to date, though, you want to be a part of my community, what I want to encourage you to do right now is I want you to go into my description. I want you to join my Discord. It's completely free. It's an app you can get on your phone. Discord is basically a community forum, but it is a, a great place, in my opinion, for for you to take your game to the next level because you are the average of the five people that you associate with most and when you start associating yourself with better Madden players you're going to become a better Madden player well even if you take a couple losses again for me the times that I've grown the most in Madden have been right after a game that I've gotten absolutely destroyed by it's all about perspective it's all about community and it's all about teamwork as you go about getting better becoming a better player in this game there's going to be some videos that are going to pop up on your screen and we will see you guys tonight at 10 o'clock right here on my YouTube channel.